Welcome back, everybody. We are an escapist. Look at that. Escaped everything on hard difficulty in VLR. Yeah, boy. I did it on the first playthrough, too. How many how many trophies we missing now? At this point, it's just one big ass cutscene, I think. Oh my god, this is gonna be the longest fucking cutscene ever, bro. It opened. We should get back to the floor a warehouse then. Hey, wait. Did you guys hear yeah. something? You didn't hear it. It came from over here. Sounds like something's turning on. See, I told you. The screen wasn't on before. Right. Guess it was set to turn on when we opened the door. It looks like an authentication screen. I think we need to put in an ID and a password. <sighs> yeah, but what? That was when I noticed the illustration. The lion eating the sun. And the, the lion is eating the sun. The lion is eating the... Momento Mori. Remember death. Remember death, nigga. If the ninth lion eats the sun. R-E-D-I-E. -E. Uh, Two-headed lion. Another lion. Uh-huh. We still got puzzles, don't we? Oh, of course. This was the real ninth lion. But if that was the case... Momento Mori. She's the only one that died. Technically in this time. Well, not in this timeline, right? Remember death. Momento Mori. Remember death. Momento Mori. Remember Bro, they said you still got puzzles. Just because it ain't no puzzle room don't mean there ain't gonna be no more puzzles, nigga. Solve it. Okay, I know the password. What's the ID? If the ninth lion ate the sun, it would explode, dumbass. We gotta figure out the ID, bro. <laughs> Damn. Password, let's go. I'm trying to think, what the fuck am I missing? What could have been the ID? Huh? Damn it, it's not gonna be Radical Six. Momento Mori. Nope. One, two. <sighs> Shit. 
So we already use it can't be the same password, right? It can't be the same shit, right? Why would it be the same shit here? Let's, might as well do it, right? Mill Kev. I think here shit was like weird random shit. Photogenetic memory. I don't think it was that. Two two eagle errors. No, ain't no fucking way. Hey, hey, why is there a keyhole right there? By the way, we never did figure out what that was about. Okay, where's the other shit? By uh, I could have sworn I took a picture of the the Alice shit. Oh yeah, GTF DML 016, GTF. GTF DML 016. D, or is it GTF? Why would it be the same password, God damn it? DML 016? Huh? Okay. GML. GML? Was it GML? It was GTF, right? Fuck! I already forgot. I already forgot, y'all. I'm pretty sure it was GTF though. GTF DML. DML 016. And this is, what is it? Fucking. I love. Whoa, 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 I love what? What does that say? I love K-L-I. Oh. I love Klim. I love K. I love milk. That doesn't make any sense. Error. Bro, I'm actually, what the fuck? It was no use, damn, I couldn't figure it out. What was the ID I needed? What was the password? Did I know them? Had I seen them before in another history? If he had found an ID on the old woman's body, and if I recall correctly, it has something, uh, it has something about a password. I couldn't recall if the woman, if the card was the key though, but I, then I need to put in the woman's name for the ID. Did I, I swear I did that. What the? Didn't I do a Kane? I did a Kane, right? Did I spell her name wrong? Is her name Amame? Put in the ID and password. Come on, bro.
I swear to you, bro. Wait, maybe I Okay, let's put the GT GT F D M L 016 with this one. I could have sworn it was Jumpy Doll, right? go by a different name oh shit i forget okay yikers hold on it was a different name there was a different name oh fuck i might have to go back i actually might have to go revisit that shit oh shit bro um hey uh what, what? i'm about to look at some of these maybe Jumpy doll. The activation count. Minkowski, Minkowski space. What the fuck? Oh man, I'm really about to get body by this dumbass ID, aren't I? I'm straight up about to get body by this, bro. All right. Hold on. I'm about to go back to the other ending because I actually legit forget what the fuck I saw. I don't remember the ID like saying anything else other than I uh, pass equals jumpy doll. That's all I literally remember. All right, here we go. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta go through here again. All right, we gotta have this very long chat with your girl. I love how this is the last, like, basically they locked that hella late. They didn't want you getting this ending way too early. I, I could see getting this ending too early would have just been like, what the fuck? Thanks for just giving us most of the information. explaining him talking shit once we sit on the bench i think that's when she gives us the deets first myself and Sam, will you yeah is there a problem oh she said is there a problem is that an order yeah do i yes. Ooh, do i make myself clear i say it do i make myself clear strong sternum after that as soon as mother figure but since my brain is in the main computer, so I still saw everything while I wait. Yes, it was what I was. I think when she'd said like a friend. Yes, yes. I don't know. I read maybe then maybe then. Yeah. Come on, yeah. come on. Yeah. Come on. Well, whatever the reasons were, which meant, and just like you said, Clover didn't realize in any event. 
so she can it was using five yes that was i know yes i and i we entered at about zero hours all right one minute. just in case i like bypass it and like accidentally have to like um reload and watch all this again we're gonna save a damn i maxed the saves out that's funny i tend to do that bro She was She ran I'm in the wrong ending We did so many endings yesterday I forget which one it was in I thought it was this one She gave us the ID It's in the quark ending Okay Oh my god. Old woman's ID card. That's hilarious. Kurashiki. God damn it. Kurashiki. I definitely don't remember that. I I a hundred percent don't remember that fucking name. I had all the other right I, I knew her real name. I didn't, I just didn't know her last name. I'm gonna call her. Kurashiki, now that makes sense. It fits. All right, y'all, we, we on the right path now. Still easier than that dice puzzle. Sigma. Kurashiki, Kurashiki, Kurashiki. Hi, my name is Akane. You're Akane. My name is Akane Kurashiki. Hey man, look at this photo. Is there any sus? Is there anything crazy sus in this picture, bro? I've been looking for her for a very long time. Who took this picture, by the way? Wait, actually, who took this picture, by the way? He walked toward her slowly, carefully, as, as most as if he was afraid of scaring her away. He reached out. She's a hologram. Tim Yuji squeezed his eyes shut. Hakane. He closed his hand around empty air and let it fall to his side. There was a moment of sad silence and then she began to speak. I see you finally arrived. I've been waiting for you. Well, I suppose that's slightly inaccurate. What you see now is a holographic message I recorded before you came here. Bet. Unfortunately, this means I will not be able to answer your questions. At least not directly. Boo. I hope you will understand. Now, where to begin? You probably have a great many questions. Yes. What day is it? Where are we? Who is Zero? And what does he have to do with Akane Kurashiki? But I imagine there is one question that rises above all the others. Why us? Why were we brought here? The answer to that is simple. Everything that has happened here is part of our plan. All of this was required for the success of the AB project. The hell's the AB project? I assume you heard the name by now, at least. In any event, you were all needed in order to execute our plan. The nonary game was necessary for the same reason. Hmm? To develop the power. Your question now, I imagine, is just what is this AB project? Yes, come on, lady. The answer to that is also simple. Allow me to explain. We created the AB project for one purpose. To transport the consciousnesses of two people into the past. Those two people are you, Sigma, and you, Phi. Hmm. What do you mean, the past? 
the moment the words were out of my mouth, I realized not no one there could answer the question. Not Phi and not Tim Yuji and certainly not a pre-recorded hologram. Have you figured out what this room is? I assume you saw the Q on the door. It stands for quantum. Quantum physics. That makes this the quantum room. It took me a moment to realize she changed subjects without even pausing. There was nothing we could do, of course, but I still felt a twinge of frustration. At the rear of the room. Quantum. Do you see that large enclosure? That houses our quantum computer. The systems that control this entire facility run on that machine. That includes the construct you refer to as Zero Junior, as well as the golems. All of them do their thinking in that box. Isn't that strange, though? It seems contrary to how we perceive the world. The body. The thing that you see and interact with is somewhere else. Yet you see and interact with. But the mind and all its thoughts are in this box. Huh? Perhaps it isn't so strange, though. We talk about robots, right? Perhaps humans are the same. With our minds and thoughts existing separate from our bodies. Our core is in our head, of course. We all have individual brains, think individual thoughts, and act according to individual wills. That makes communication difficult, though. So, we're forced to rely on inefficient mediums, like language, photographs, non-verbal cues, etc. to transmit information. Each one of us is an individual. This is reminding me. This is reminding me of a like uh, there was a sequence where I think that girl Lotus was talking about how our brains were connected or whatever to our our main body and we were actually just like transmitting what we you know see or whatever. Our consciousness isn't connected. Yeah, like the, the the stupid monitor and the computer analogy from the first game. Yeah, exactly. And um, I, I I don't know if he was thinking that far ahead, but goddamn, bro. But how is dare that you? Really true. In the dimensions we are most familiar with, yes, it is. If we look at things from another higher dimension, however, there's a higher dimension than 3D. We may all be connected after all, like the branches of a tree or a rhizome. Imagine a horizontal cross-section of the root system of a large tree. All you can see are the spots where the roots intersect the plane of your cross-section. In the two dimensions you see, the roots all appear to be individual things with no connection to one another. But this isn't the case. If you expand your view and look at the root system in three dimensions instead of only two, you see the truth. All the roots join together at the trunk. In two dimensions, they appear to be separate. But if you look at the roots from a third higher dimension, Jesus. You see, things that might appear to be separate from one another in three dimensions could be connected to one another if you look at them in four dimensions. Doesn't that at least seem like it could be a possibility? I believe that is how human consciousness actually works. Well, I'm not the only one, I suppose. I don't know, man. This is kind of some crazy stuff. We, hey, it's like there are logical things they bring into this crazy theory, right? That actually makes sense in real life. But some of this stuff seems too crazy to be real. It's a video game. Why would any of this be real, bro? But that's the crazy part about the narrative because it's like, damn, it gets you thinking, like, huh, huh my mind is melting zero and i share that belief morphogenetic field theory tim yuji mumbled something that sounded like nonsense 
I opened my mouth to ask him what it meant, but Connie was already talking again. Now, when I talk about a fourth dimension, I'm referring to the fourth dimension used in Minkowski space-time. Huh, we were just looking at the secrets, and that was brought up. Let's start with a single dimension, where all that exists is a point. Connect points to one another, and you have a line. In one dimension, the only surface you can create is that, a line. But move to two dimensions, and create more lines, and you can create shapes. These are two-dimensional surfaces. Move up to three dimensions, and you can connect these shapes to one another and form three-dimensional objects. Now you have a three-dimensional surface, which encompasses a volume of space. Connect three-dimensional objects to one another, and you formed a four-dimensional object, which encompasses a volume of both space and time. It is on that fourth-dimensional axis that our minds are connected. If that was true, then what would prevent anyone from sending their consciousness backward or forward in time? That theory is the foundation of the A-B project. Hmm. The A represents after, and the B represents before. Damn. And why would a terrorist organization prevent this it from happening? Sounds silly to you. Yeah, it does. A ridiculous story made up by a mad old woman. Hold on, let me correct that. A ridiculous story made up by a mad old fictional woman. But look at what's happened to you. You've seen many different worlds and timelines, haven't you, Sigma? And what about you, Vi? I know you have too. Am I wrong? But why these two? Because they needed to go back in time. But why these two specifically? Because of the bloodline looking at Ken Miyoji should know what I'm talking about as well. I believe you experienced something very similar nearly half a century ago. Damn. That's, man, my man, old, old. You sent your consciousness to the past to help save a little girl's life. AKA you. It was a long time ago, but perhaps you still remember. Yeah, of course I do. How could I forget? That little girl was you, Akane. Suddenly it felt like Fear and I were outsiders trespassing on something we had no right to see. Tim Yuji's face was taunt with emotion as he looked into Akane's eyes. It seems almost like she was looking back at him. Wait! <laughs> oh, Tenmyoji. I can almost see you. You don't need to worry. Everything is going to be okay. I will see you again one day. I promise. But I'm going to have to ask you to wait just a little longer. He waited a half a century! Stop playing with my boy Junpei. Wait. He literally, literally was. Come on, bro. Akane! And then she was gone. Stop playing with my boy. He laughs to his knees, his back hunched and shaking. I saw tears land on the white knuckle fist he pressed up against his thigh. Man, he going through it, bro. What was there to say? Fia and I looked at one another and nodded silently. With a shaking hand, Tim Yuji pulled the photograph out of his pocket. It was a picture of a girl. And all of that we've been through, her smile was enough to break your heart. Damn.
my man was waiting. Waited so long. We made our way to the warehouse on floor A and met up with the others. It took only a few minutes to decide to head to the infirmary. Boo, 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 boo. As soon as we arrived, we began to treat Alice and Quark. Damn, bro, that shit hurt. Thank goodness. It will take some time for them to recover completely. What is in uh, your boy's hat? But they should be fine. Good. Indeed. Thank you, Luna. And thanks for finding the medicine, you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't sweat it. No need to thank us. Dude, Tim Yuji said nothing. Just walked over to Quark's unconscious body. He took the small boy's hand in his own and held it tight. I could see tears at the corner of his eyes as he turned away from us. <laughs> Suddenly I remembered Dio, where'd he had gone? It didn't take me long to find him. Chained up, he was sprawled unconscious on the floor beneath his skin. Oh, we found those in the crew quarters. Before you returned, we went to check on the bomb in room two, and we found them there. Of course, the bomb was indeed turned off. Thank you again for dealing with them. You are, quite literally, lifesavers. <laughs> you have my eternal gratitude. I coughed awkwardly and looked, uh, looked pointedly around the room. So they gonna explain why the hell my boy Sigma is also okay? I glanced over at Fee to see what was, uh, to see she was doing the same thing. After that, we headed back to the Floor A warehouse to play the AB game, specifically me, Fee, K, and Luna. Clover and Tim Yuji decided to remain in the infirmary. Luna would represent Clover's team with uh, Quark and Dio sleeping, K would re represent their team by default, which left me, Fee, and Tim Yuji. You should vote. No, I'll let you handle it. I ain't got a vote, do I? I chose Betray in the last round. You probably don't trust me right now. What? That doesn't matter Excuse now. Excuse me. I apologize for interrupting, but I think you should be the one to vote in the next round fight. Why? You already have 9 BP. There's no reason for you to choose Betray now. You see? Hey, you're acting like I might actually try and betray her. Not necessarily. Um, what does it matter what he's suggesting? We're almost there. We just have to play the A-B game three more times. Then we can all get nine points. That is true. But that means each representative has to choose ally all three times. Yep. Okay, I'll vote. You sure you're all right with this, Sigma? <laughs> yeah, I trust you. I handed her the star key. Shall we open the doors? I think we in for one more treat, bro. This can't be it, bro. There's so many unanswered fucking questions. An Ambidex gate has been opened. Man, something about the surprises, bro. 45 minutes. Oh, right. We have to wait for the deadline. Oh, well, we could vote earlier. But then each voter would be stuck inside the AB room for 45 minutes. Oh, that's ass. Okay. Let's go back to the infirmary then. I agree. Please, lead the way. If nobody votes, we get killed though. I was about to follow when. Hold on. I just remembered something. What? The AB room on the left, in one of the other histories, she... Oh yeah, you're right. The county's body was in there. What does that mean? Why didn't we find her body this time? Now we ask, we asking the real questions. The ones I've been asking for the past three episodes. Maybe because she wasn't murdered. But how? When did history change? Because maybe we changed it in this history. <laughs> I mean, maybe we changed it before anything happened. Do you remember what Akane said? The cat in, in the, the box. box. Yep. Is it
Let me guess. That's it's gonna be to be continued. Play V T D S T D. Uh, wait, Z T D. My bad. Schrodinger's cat thing. Exactly. Schrodinger's time dilemma. That's what the S T D stands for. Perhaps she was saying her own fate wasn't decided yet. The history where she's alive and the history where she's murdered are both real right now. Damn. What? No, that's that, that, that's impossible. We've already opened the box. We opened a door to this AB room and there was no body. No, we haven't opened the box. We haven't found a body, but we haven't found her alive yet either. In other words, we haven't actually observed her. The hologram was a recording from before this game started. The next time we meet, so come and find me. I'll be waiting. Where was Akane now? Where was she waiting for us? Wasn't there a key? What was the, what, there was a key on a grave. Or what if she wasn't anywhere now? What if she was waiting for us in another timeline? Or what if she was waiting for us in the past? Was that even possible? If she was, what would that mean? Oh my god. Rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, break, 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 break. The, the flow chart, flow chart, flow chart, break out the flow chart. I beg your pardon. A new destination has been added to the flow chart. Huh? Oh, we're gonna split the part right here because some fuckery is going on. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how this is going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen, bro. I don't know what's happening, but we're going to find out on the next episode, everybody.